Hey guys, Ravi here from Ira FX. I love making visual effects and animations that you find in featured films and I'll be making tutorials to each video I make. So today we are going to learn how to do this effect. This is called freeze frame effect and this is an intermediate level tutorial considering the fact that you know how to use Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. Let us first divide this tutorial into three steps. Step 1 3D camera tracking, step 2 freezing the frames and step 3 masking and adjustment. To give you a clear picture on how this effect is done, I am using this portion of the footage to generate the effect. So the first step will be camera tracking. Type 3D camera tracker and drag the effect onto your footage. After Effects will start analyzing your footage in the background and the time taken will depend on the length of your footage. Once it analyzes your footage, it starts solving your camera. Once even that is done, select a ground plane and right click, create null and camera. So this creates a null object and camera of your scene. In the second step, you will have to decide at what frames you want your character to be freezed. So go to the point where you want the character to be freezed and click on shift 1 to create your first marker. You will notice that a marker is created on the timeline. So at this marker position click on composition, save frame as, file and you can save it as a PNG image and also set your post render action as import. With this settings. When you save your image, it will get imported back into your project panel. You can now notice that the image is imported into your project panel. So drag this onto your composition above your video and cut it down to the marker position. You can create marker 2 and 3 positions holding shift 2 and shift 3. You can notice that I am saving the frame, importing it back into my composition, dragging it onto my scene and then trimming it to the marker position. I am repeating it again. I will save it as an image, bringing it into my project back, dragging it onto my footage and then cutting it till my marker position. Once you are done with step number 1 and step number 2, in the step number 3, we will have to mask out our character and make necessary adjustments. Grab the pen tool and start masking your character. It doesn't have to be really very perfect, but you will have to maintain a clean outline of your character. You can see that I am selecting the first image and masking out the character. Once your character is masked out, you will have to click on your original video, go to the FX panel and then select 3D camera tracker effect. This will show you all the null objects that are tracked. Click on one null object that is closer to the character that you froze and you can rename it to a null one so that you can avoid any confusion. Turn your first image into 3D by clicking this icon 
and parent this image to the null that you just created. Now click on your image and then reset the transform properties. This will now get arranged to the null that you created. Now things are quite simple. You'll just have to adjust your image exactly to the point where the character is in the actual scene. Tweak the transform properties so that this image is exactly aligned to the character in the scene. You can go back and check how this is working. Perfect. Now we'll have to do the same steps for the second and third image. Let me repeat the steps for you so that you can avoid confusion. You should first mask your character from the image that you froze. Let me tell you that the masking doesn't have to be really perfect, but yes, it has to be clear. When the masking is done, click on the original video footage, select the 3D camera tracker effect and create a null that is closer to the frame that you froze. You can name, rename it as null2 to avoid confusion and then you can make your image 3D will have to parent it to the null that you just created. Now you will have to reset the transformation properties. Your character will now be aligned at a point where the null is created. Now you have to make the necessary modifications, scale it, transform it, the positions, orientation, scale, everything to the point where it matches the character in the scene. You can now go back and see that it is perfectly blended. You can repeat the same steps exactly for the third image as well. Once all the steps are done, you should be able to look at your output. You can download this project file from a website for your reference. You can use your creativity and make wonders with this effect. So if you're looking for more visual effects, consider subscribing to my channel or you can also follow me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. See you next time with another tutorial.